I ain't tryna buy what they selling, no way Even if they bribe, I'ma tell them no way I be on my job, yeah, I'm on it all day And if you getting by, go ahead, do it your way I ain't tryna buy what they selling, no way Even if they bribe, I'ma tell them Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Nash Way If this is your first time here, welcome I hope you like my videos and subscribe Today we're going to be doing a video on clipping in our extensions for people with short hair. And if you don't have short hair you can follow along as well just because I love to make my clip in extensions look natural as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys which brand I use and I love using the Bellamy hair extensions. I have the Bugatti um, collection and I actually have ordered two packs so far within like the past two and a half three years and I am obsessed with them obsessed like they're my favorite thing and it's so hard not to wear the extensions because it's literally like an addiction so one of my favorite things about the Bellamy Bugatti extensions is this big chunk of piece right here it has nine clips and it's so full and thick now I already go ahead every time that I get them I cut them into like layers so I love to cut them into layers so that it falls natural with my hair just because it's kind of blunt and I don't like seeing like choppy clip-in extensions because it's so noticeable and we're not trying to make it noticeable. So the layers are my personal preference just because I have short hair I don't like it to be noticeable and I don't know I guess it's just my style. You don't have to do it but I do recommend it if you have short hair like, like this. So. Okay, so I went ahead and bought some hair, bought some 100% unprocessed virgin hair, and it has a nice body wave, and what I wanted to do was make my own clips. So I did, and it took a very long, long time. <laughs> and your girl is not a sewing kind of girl, so it was, a, it was a long process, but definitely worth it. So I went ahead and made clips of my own. Um, Obviously, it's not professional. You can see in here. It's like I did a I did a good job. Like we're just gonna go ahead and wear them because that's the point of why I made them. So what I did because I do love the Bellamy hair, I went ahead and made a clip that's just like the um, thick one, the big nine clip piece that I showed you earlier, because. I need it with this short thick hair um, and when I made the clip-ins I did sew in tracks like three to four tracks so that it can be nice and thick so you don't want to make your clips with just like one weft because it will not be thick and you might as well just go to Sally's and buy your hair from there because I have done that and it was not thick enough I had to buy like two packs or three packs and Clip-in extensions are a lot of money. If your girl does not have money right now to be spending $320 on Bellamy hair, but if they do want to sponsor me, I am here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clip in our hair. As you can see, I parted it. I parted the bottom of my neckline, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that clip. Okay, so that's our first step. And sometimes you're gonna have to like move it around just because it is a clip and it's not a kind of natural thing to do but it'll do sometimes it clips on to like a piece that was in your ponytail and that's really annoying and it hurts so don't do that okay so we're gonna grab again and where we're gonna grab is like literally right above the ear Okay, so some people like to tease their hair with this kind of comb, thin comb, whatever, and they like to take like either hairspray or just tease it. You literally go up. I'm not a fan of that just because it makes my hair feel weird and I don't need to do it because my hair is so thick. Um, so that's just a piece of advice if you do need to tease it or if you're comfortable with teasing it so that it stays in intact. But I already feel like mine stay in intact, so... And now go a little bit higher, like right here on your eyebrow line. Okay. 
Okay, so we're starting to see our hair getting thick. And usually what I do is curl these pieces, which you guys will see later on. So I went ahead and put those side pieces in there as you guys just saw. Let's go ahead and do the other one. So I'm going to grab this little piece right here to put in on the side so that we don't see these little hairs. And I'm just going to readjust these because they did not feel normal. I'm grabbing a four piece clip. Now I went ahead and put that in but we're not finished because on that same line I like to take this two piece clip and we're going to put it right here and it's kind of going to make that same big piece again just with three different pieces. Okay, now we're going to grab our three-piece clip and we're going to put it right up here so that we don't see any like choppiness. And then I'm going to go ahead and add two clips right here so that it looks nice and blended in the front. So what I like to do is grab right here. Okay, so now that I have clipped the hair in and I have not cut any layers into the hair yet just because I literally just finished making them and I wanted to make this video for you guys. So I'll do an update or you'll just see me updated if I do cut in any layers, which I probably will just like right down here. Um, but this is the hair and... Okay, so as I mentioned before, the hair does have a natural like body wave, but because my hair is straight, I have to go and curl it up a little bit so that it blends nicely, especially in the back because you don't want it to be like straight and then curly because that looks crazy. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do and I will be right Okay guys, so I just finished curling the other side and before I flip it all to the front, I wanted to show you what the back looks like because that is what's key in this process. You want to make sure that your hair looks good in the front and in the back. So let me turn around for you. Okay, so the back looks good. You see those nice little waves. I didn't want to go too crazy with the waves just because my makeup already looks like I'm going somewhere and <laughs> I'm not. Um, so let's see what it looks like. Nice and full. Okay, I think I did this little um Bellamy impersonation pretty well. Um these are not their clips. I bought this hair from a beauty supply. Um, it was like almost $200. Uh, but I love my Bellamy hair. And this is not a video to shame on them, throw shade on them, whatever the case may be. I love Bellamy. I just had to go the inexpensive route because. Okay, I'm not broke broke, but I'm broke enough to not be able to spend almost $400 on hair. So, sorry Bellamy. I love you with all my heart. Literally, I love you with all my heart. But, this will do. And, I'm still going to wear my Bellamy hair. It's just, it's at the point right now where anytime I want to wear it and I brush it, I literally have to vacuum the bathroom because it sheds so much because... 
I went ahead and dyed it like 500 times. So don't do that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Comment and subscribe and share with your friends so that they can get some pop in hair like this and not have any crazy blockage because we don't want that. Remember, we want natural, natural looking clipping extensions. So let me see. Tag me in any of your pictures so I can see your hair. Thanks for watching.